So, welcome to a, another episode on Carp Lounge Tackle. Um, so, in this one, we're going to be going a little bit more in depth on the Echo Sounder. So, the different modes it has, um, tips and tricks, that kind of thing. So, I would say, let's get to it. All right. The very first thing you'll see, basic information, depth. It's depth 8.1 meters. It's there and it's there. Yeah. Um, what you can also have as well is uh, depth lines. There you go. Now, personally, I don't use it. Um, I don't feel the need to. Um, some people might prefer it that way. I prefer a slightly less uncluttered screen, so I don't use it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to get into is um, the, diff the different views. Yeah. So if you click on the eye icon, so we'll have sonar. Now this is perfect, you know, um, for finding out if the bottom's clean, if it's hard, that kind of thing. Switching over, we're gonna now go to 50-50. This is where you wanna know, you know, um, the left-hand side sonar, the right-hand side is down scan uh, with hypervision, and you can really see these weed beds, you know, they're, they're unmistakable. You know, it's not an area you'd want to fish. Um, it's too much weed. It's 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 not very clean. So, and as you, if, if you look on the left hand side, it's also I'd say slightly softer bottom. Yeah, now it's going harder now, um, but we're going down nine nine ten meters. You know, so it's um, it's pretty deep. And I w I wouldn't fish there. Some people do. I prefer shallow areas. You know, it's horses for courses. So. And here's here's another tip that I I do fish like this. So you don't, you uh, the depth is set at the moment to auto, yeah. So it it triggers it all the time. What I tend to do, this is just my preference. I tend to fish double the depth of the lake I'm fishing, you know. So we will call it say eighteen meters, yeah. Or we'll just click OK. It's how I do it. It gives you, it gives you a view then dead center of the screen. Um, very easy to follow. Um, just it's just easier for me you know so at the moment right let's go on to now side scan okay that's the first one now if you look at this um, the way you're interpreting it is is highlights and shadows on the sides yeah so it's if you've got to imagine it's looking left and it's looking right you know so you know whatever it sees as the boat's going forward it's left and right of it OK, so you'll see here uh, there'll be some shades coming up where, you know, it's either fish or a rock or something like that. Um, it's quite useful. Um, I, I must admit, I don't use it an awful lot, but when I'm fishing far bank margins and stuff like that, and I want to know if there's any features there, then yes. So look at these these shadows here. OK. So you'd know to fish in front of them, not behind them, because you know it's a snaggy area, that kind of thing. So moving over, now we're going to go to down vision. Okay, now this is the hypervision. Um, like I said, I mean I never have I never have one. I'm nearly always in 50/50 view. Um, it's just done. I mean it's great for showing weed not so good for showing how hard the bottom is although it will do you know so if you look here it's white that's a really hard bottom okay um but that's pretty much the only way to tell you know the white the white areas here as well here down here you know it's gravel sand that kind of thing um i i think personally uh 50 50 view is perfect for what you need um it gives you all the information you want um and, and basically that's that's that. So what we move on to now, we're on to Real Vision 3D. Now this is quite interesting. You know, it's uh, it's it's still a work in progress, yeah. But um, it's definitely it's it's interesting. You know, um, the things that are coming to it as well. You know, like uh, fish ID, that kind of thing. You know, it's just different information. You know, it's whatever you prefer. So. Like I said, definitely interesting. Um, it's it's getting built out all the time. The next update, I believe, is uh, due um, to enhance this, so there's even more features. Um, it's a good view to have. 
Is it required? No, it's, but it's nice to have for sure. So we'll switch that back over now. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 50-50. Now, if you look up here, yeah, so you can pause the run, photo, uh, pictures, and uh, terminate connection. Um, you, what you'll notice is missing is uh, the trackback feature. You know, and it's quite a good feature, um, but it will only work in single screen mode. So what you need to do is go to, I would say, downscan. We're going to look at the trackback feature now. <clears throat> So let's say we want to mark that spot there. Yeah. Now you can zoom along. Now if you look here, there's a blue bar. You can scroll that all the way along and the picture will move and you'll be able to place your marker. Um, you know, so I mean, you're driving around, you're doing a session, that kind of thing. Um, so long as the boat is on and the echo sound is on, you'll be able to track all the way back what everything you've recorded. So um, you, you might not even know where the boat is on the map, but you know, an interesting spot is an interesting spot. So, you know, like I said, test test one. Okay. And there you have it there, look, test one. Okay. So really important feature and one that I use an awful lot, you know, especially if the boat is uh, doing, um, you know, mapping, that kind of stuff, you know, once, you know, once it's finished, everything, just, just scroll back, have a look, you know, there's, there's loads of interesting features out there, you know, you know, you might not always see them, you know, you, you're setting up while it's mapping, whatever, you know, so it's a really, really good way of finding if there's features. Okay, so it's, uh, we're going to go into here. So sonar view, yeah, default option is the color that you've got. So I don't know if I just switch, let me switch to sonar view, sonar, there we go. Then we'll go into the paintbrush and we're going to go sonar view, default, we're going to go say black. Okay, so it's much darker. So we're in sonar view and uh, as you can see, you know, um, sonar view, grayscale, or night, you know, it's, it's, sunburst is quite a fun one, to be honest. Um, there you go. A lot of reds, yellows, that kind of thing. Um, I personally prefer default, you know, I, I, I don't tend to mess around with it. Um, so we'll move over to uh, downscan. And then once again, paintbrush. It's copper at the moment. Go grayscale. Okay. Now, a lot of people actually do use grayscale on this. You know, um, it's whatever you prefer. Um, I prefer it uh, as copper. Um, you might prefer it as grayscale. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's your preference. You know, it's, it's up to you what you do. Um, let's choose another one. Grayscale. Uh, let's go sunburst. Okay. Now you can see it again. You know, that's also interesting. Um, whatever you want to do, it's, it's, it's really up to you. I'm going to go copper. I just think that's the classic, you know, almost that, almost Y fish look, you know, that sonar. Um, it's just a classic look for it, you know. I, I think it looks better, but I mean, it's all down to preference. It's, it's not a big deal. Um, so let's have a look here. Just as a, as a side note as well, if you want to, um, we'll move on to mapping, obviously. But I uh, just want to show you what else you can do. I'll we'll just use structure. Um, a depth map. Oh. <laughs> Forgot to put the name in again. <laughs> Test one one. Add depth map. There we go. It's working now. Now, then. as you can see, this this is a really really deep hole, and you can see um, here it's it's less sloping, and this that and the other. Um, 
So, you know, what I also like to do uh, is basically use it. So, you know, you drive to, to drive to a spot on the map. It's, it is a good feature. Okay, so that's basically giving you a rough guide on the echo sounder. You know, um, there's there's hundreds of videos on YouTube where you can see fish ID, that kind of thing. Um, I'd say just just invest a bit of time in it. You know, um, if if you find it confusing, um, it's it is it it's fairly easy once you get used to it. You know, you know what you're doing. Um, it's it's just it just takes a little bit of time to understand what you're seeing, you know. I mean, I've been using bait boats for years, so for me, it's fairly automatic. Um, I know where I want to fish. I know the areas I always fish, you know. So for me, I'm, that's the kind of thing I'm looking for, which is shallow, clear, uh, and hard. You know, like most of us, it's it's not rocket science. Um, but if you want to go more in depth, you know, about you know, like viewing them sickles which are fish, you know, so it's the half banana shape, if you like, you know, there, there are plenty of videos online. And uh, I think that's about it at the moment. Um, and I'll see you again when we're ready for the next one.